And then I use that to create my full scale drawing. And I don't know if you can make out some of that drawing there. Um, basically have all the components listed uh, on this full scale drawing. And I use the actual uh, front rather than the template because I did get a little bit of spring back. So I want to use the actual front to trace that. And the key detail on this full scale drawing is really the joinery uh, in the corners. Um, so you can see those uh, mortise and tenons angled there. And so I'll be using that drawing to really uh, get the right angle for the tenons. I also have the legs uh, pretty much cut out. Um, got them angled and cut out of those blanks to get the rift sawn edges. And they're almost to dimension. I stopped a little bit short. Uh, so I have my drawing to really confirm the final dimensions. I've got my leg stock cut up here. This was a single board, uh, about seven feet long, uh, and I cut it uh, to about 31 inch sections, a little bit oversized for my legs. And it's eight quarter walnut, and so what I can do out of it is try to get closer to rift sawn for the legs. I've got a little piece of um, scrap here that I drew uh, some diagonal grain pattern on. This is this, about the size of the leg. And then I uh, rotated that around on the end here to find where the grain matched up uh, to those lines and here's what I've come up with uh, for this piece and pretty much the same on the other piece. So now I've jointed uh, the edge and a face and I don't have a bandsaw so I'm actually going to run this through the table saw to cut these legs apart, uh, bevel the angle, um, cut those angles here on this stock and then go back to my jointer and clean up the faces and get that 90 degree. of my wood picked out. I've got a big piece of cherry here and picked out some of the components that will be cut out of this and walnut uh, for some of the rest of the stretchers, the back apron, the sides, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and rough cut all that out, uh, joint and plane all the components to a little bit oversize and then uh, we'll start cleaning up to final dimensions and start cutting some joinery. Well it's been a really busy day in the shop today. I started with the jointer and planer to dimension all the lumber. So I've got walnut here, back apron, side apron pieces, and then a lot of cherry for some internal components and the drawer box. This is the drawer bottom, which I'll be edge gluing together for the drawer. Uh, so I spent time, milled all that lumber. And then I moved on to the legs. I had them to rough dimension already, but I finally got them to final dimension and cleaned them up. Used the jointer and the table saw to get these square. The back two legs are square. The front two are rectangular. They'll have a bevel to the front so they start off rectangular. And I even pulled out my number six uh, Stanley plane and cleaned off those faces from uh, the mill marks from the table saw especially. Then I pulled out uh, my mortiser to put the mortises in these legs since they're square. I wanted to get that done before tapering the legs or putting the bevel on them. So I cut out all eight mortises. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that went really quickly with the mortise machine. Um, just measured, marked, and cut them out. So all the parts are ready. They're oversized besides the legs. Everything else is still really oversized just has two clean faces and one jointed edge so they'll be ready to cut down the size as I need them and now I'm going to move on to the front apron it's still in its full length and I'm going to cut it apart into the drawer front and the two sides 